Just ran her out of gas. <laughs> um, just was running the Ted Williams. I'll see if I can start it up again. It probably won't because I just ran it out of gas. But um, I'll go through it in a second. Let me just try and give it a pull quick. Anyway, well, it was just running, and uh, I'm. Whew, I got to rebuild the carburetor. I just bought it at a rummage sale, and I don't know if I'm gonna do that. It's kind of cool. Um, I just threw some gas and two-stroke oil in it, and just fired it up. Thought I'd grab the foam when it started. Um, it's got neutral and drive right here, which actuates it, and. Your idle control here. Yeah, I think I'm out of gas. Um, but anyway, um, obviously your choke car bowls here. That's got to have some shit in it. Anyway, um, idle speed and then uh, stop, start, fast. You can run the gamut when you're in gear. See, I'm in drive, but if you go in neutral, you are not allowed to go past start. Um, recoil's good. Looks pretty decent. Um, it's self-contained. I was just spraying water all over myself. Um, uh, there's no. It's a 100% aluminum gas tank, and it's a it's a Jiffy ice auger um, components, and it's it's an air cooled. Anybody that has a, a Jiffy ice auger, or it's a Tecumseh powerhead is what it is. That is the exact motor for a Jiffy ice auger. All original. It looks like they did some touch-up paint on the top from probably sitting in the sun, but it's, it's pretty dusty. Anyway, um, you got a remote tank hookup, and then obviously you close this to run off the tank, and then you open this, and it... Well, uh, I don't know, it's just pretty cool. I, I, I sold another one of these. I saw this one at a garage sale, and they're so easy to work on because it's an air-cooled two-stroke. Nothing happens but rings, and this one's got them. So, messing around with the carburetor will be fine. Um, I don't know, I'm going to throw that on eBay, and then uh, I'll throw in this tank that came with it. Um, it's a little aluminum... Tank. I think it's aluminum, but uh, shit, you can tell this has been sitting. The old guy was just really cool to talk to. He's one of those dudes that took care of everything. So uh, this actually is really clean inside. It's a series of Roebuck that came with the uh, with the motor. I was just running in the garbage can. Um, check out my other video on YouTube. I got another one of it. I'm just screaming along. I'll try and give it another pull, but... I don't know, it, it needs a cleaning. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for looking. I, I like putting these on there because there's not a whole lot left and there's a pretty high demand for people that you want a collector's item or are restoring one of these. Um, this obviously goes up and down the tiller arm. Um, every, the, everything's in great shape. Everything is functional, perfect. Um, I don't know if you're a collector or you're a tinker. You probably know more about these than me. I can tell you it's missing the rubber strip that, that joins those two together, but uh, I don't know. Excuse the mess in here. <laughs> the wife had a rummage sale, and I took advantage of the, the neighborhood rummage sale and brought this home. So anyway, um, made in USA, 100% complete. I know that if I tilt this up right here, I know if I tilt this up, it's going to have the uh, serial numbers on it. But you can see I've been splashing water all over the place. It's got decent, uh, it's got good compression and good lube job. Still, this is rubber. Wait, no, that's the metal one. It's older yet. But, you know, everything's there. I'm going to try and give it a crank once. 
so don't get too discouraged if it doesn't turn over. It's been sitting for probably about 15 years. And I'm pretty sure I just sucked a bunch of crap into the... The carburetors are simple. So, um, anyway, this is it. Google these online, you'll hear people that love them and people that hate them. <laughs> um, I don't know, they're cool, they're lightweight, two-stroke, self-contained, seven-and-a-half horse motor. If you got a rowboat or something, this is perfect. Anyway, um, let me set the phone down and give it a pull. I, I always end up pulling with it done, uh, stop, and then wondering why the hell it won't start. But I, I, I have no idea where the lean idles mixture should be or whatever, but obviously the choke in and out, but anyway, there's no air filter on the uh, the carb, so it's it's a rather archaic system, but they move, there's tons of videos of them on, on eBay, or uh, YouTube, so I'm probably just going to move this one on down the road, I don't even own a boat, I just like dicking around with this stuff, so anyway, here, people are always asking what that says now I'm way too close to read it um, use quarter pint of 30 or 40 outboard oil per one gallon of regular grade leaded gasoline do not use unleaded gasoline so this has got leaded additive in it because I'm a geek but anyway let me try it I doubt it's gonna work but dumber things have happened Nope. <laughs> nope. Well, anyway, hopefully I got a little bit of footage of it running there, and this slowly eases its way back in. <laughs> because it's old. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Anyway, it's all here. If you like to mess around with this stuff in your tinker, I'm probably going to ask a hundred bucks. And we'll go from there. The last one went up to like two fifty. Um... But I was running that one in the tank. But I just spent too much time cleaning the carburetors and stuff for it to make any sense unless I wanted to keep it. So, and you guys understand that. If you want a deal, this will be a deal because I'm not going to spend a half day cleaning everything out. The tank is perfect. And hopefully you can see that in there. But you can't. But it's perfect. I mean, you can... There'd be evidence of gunk. It was totally clear when I when I got it. Yeah, it's easy to ship. It's a little more expensive, but um, the last one went to New York. So anyway, that's kind of how she looks. Again, excuse the mess. We had a rummage sale in here and selling baby clothes. Thanks for looking. Bye.